Hello everybody, welcome to your March 2023 forecast. So uh, this is going to be for your sidereal sign. So if you don't know your sidereal placements, please check out the birth chart calculator I have down, down below. It's going to be different than your tropical placements, like if you follow Western astrology. And yeah, I'm excited to get into it. So let's get into it. Aries, I'm so excited. Okay, you have a lot of good stuff coming in for you this month and you're probably like yeah right because the last six months have been a shit show <laughs> mars okay in taurus in your sign um i kept saying it was in six months in your sign last time i meant to say it was in retrograde for three months and in your sign for six months but now it is going to be leaving and it's going to be entering gemini and what this means is it's going to stop blocking your financial uh, opportunities and you're going to be feeling less tension within your home and family right so this is completion this is like a big sigh of relief especially if you live with a lot of family um you came out <laughs> you know these past six months really taught you your boundaries it's like you're coming out this boss you know with boss girl energy um strengthened in your wisdom strengthened in your ability to discern and make the choices that are best for you so it was like you might have teeter-tottered between like becoming delusional but then becoming like almost over giving of yourself and not doing what's like uh stable and right for you right so from being too over the top and just throwing everything all away and being delusional to again um you know not not having that balance and now you're able to really have that balance like intellectually uh you can you can see how to move ahead this month is going to call for success, victory, uh, big month. Like this can be new jobs, promotions, um, you're launching something, um, unexpected opportunities, just popularity, recognition, and it's a bit of a paradox because I, I know you're going to want to be private at times, okay? The way your transits are happening, you're going to want your space, but you can also put yourself out there if you really need to, okay? Um, you're very attractive this month. Doesn't surprise me because Venus is entering your sign. So you are feeling yourself, Aries. You are like really, really feeling yourself. You're glowing. Um, you could be doing something different physically to yourself. You don't have to be, but like you're, you're all about it. Like no one hates winter more than Aries. And on top of that, Mars and Taurus, it could have felt like the just the most stubborn, slow, drawn out winter ever. And the lovers here, besides the Queen of Wands, there's like not just one person, multiple people can be obsessed with you here. Like you don't have one bad card in your reading, okay? This is business partnerships uh, coming up, contracts being signed, especially because you have the handshake. So this is really showing, you know, there could be uh, some sort of important meeting here with someone. You're also just meeting new people, could be put into a new uh, environment. So let's pull out one more card. Aries. going forward like i said it was a dark winter right you were in the thick of the forest um you know that song are we out of the woods by taylor swift you're finally coming out of the woods aries so that was your reading if you would like a more accurate personal reading infos down below thank you for watching bye hello taurus welcome to your reading now mars is finally leaving your sign after six months mars is not your best friend you and mars are not besties and so this is going to be a huge relief for you we have the moon coming up what else is going on for taurus taurus uh venus is entering your 12th house however um this can make you feel uneasy and like maybe a little bit insecure when it comes to matters of love okay and um financially uh, venus in the 12th it can just just feels like sometimes money's not coming in enough um or there's a lot of expenditures for whatever reason we have the lovers like i said the moon besides the lovers some insecurities brought it in love 
Um, however, if you focus more on your spirituality going within, you're going to be able to get through this month. You know, it's what I'm hearing is it's not a big deal. It's uh, a momentary moment terror. Why can I talk? A momentary energy. <laughs> The devil in reverse beautiful okay so i feel like this transit is really showing you what you need to uh, release what addictions what vices you have um and you're able to release them i think sometimes releasing is letting go when we start to do better for ourselves, it's like damn ripping off that band-aid you know it's um it's a little bit uncomfortable uh, we can really start to let go um i'm hearing you're putting boundaries with the people in your life you don't want to be giving so much of your energy to okay um, or you might be noticing like, damn, like there's, it's like you noticing how much you have given to certain people. You're also really releasing this idea of like a materialistic approach, um, as a material sign, you know, uh, this can be like a, a good lesson to kind of go through, especially with the first half of the month, Venus and Jupiter and Pisces, this is going to happen once in 12 years. This is a blessing. So spiritually, it's like what but if you really dive into your spirituality meditate during this time pray taurus especially the first half of the first half of the month it is going to do you wonders wonders like uh last you the, the things the insights you can get right now can last you for years so we have power coming up your voice this is a time new i know it's a bit confusing at time but this is uh it's like you're diving into your worries or insecurities for a reason so you can address them and really claim back your power this is about you remembering who you are remembering your voice is important that you have so much to offer um and again it's funny it's like as we need to like kind of learn to detach materially to not give it so much weight and power and anxiety so then uh we attract it from an empowered state not being attached right and you're releasing a lot of attachment and that's going to allow you to kind of really do what's right for you go towards your calling uh speak out set boundaries um yeah huge months in regards to claiming back your power okay that was your reading taurus if you would like a more accurate personal reading with me info will be down below hello gemini i'm sensing a really nice and steady month for you mercury is going to move into aquarius so you could be really focused on your studies right now if you are um, studying in some form or capacity uh, this is really representing as a very curious sign as you are and someone who always likes to have like you know an extra tool there which can help you level up um, but it's also like done from a place of joy right now, especially um, in terms of like What can like these are tools and, and, and knowledge and putting in the type of effort that's really aligned with your purpose Okay aligned with like your your, your higher dreams and goals uh, King of Cups Shows you're gonna be um, Emotionally balanced to do so so mars was in your 12th house and is a sign that already kind of overthinks a lot for six months <laughs> i think it's a relief to have that shift in energy for you so mars is going to be moving into your sign now and i think this is creating a lot of motivation for you and kind of grounding you okay there's uh, people, you can also see that people are being more emotionally stable towards you, even if they're a bit slower to approach you. Uh, your approach towards people can be a bit more slower as well at times. Um, Knight of Pentacles. What's really cool this month is it feels like you feel really called to do something and you actually will take the action upon that inspiration, upon that opportunity, upon that uh, craft right so i'm hearing effort effort is like a, a a key word coming up gemini spiritual love whoa venus is conjunct jupiter in like the spirit most spiritual sign of all right pisces so beautiful you are you are loving this energy and um it's happening in oh sorry um yeah no no i'm not sorry i my mind anyways um in 
you know a very expansive space for you so you 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 could really be meeting someone this month you're connecting with your friends in like a very loving and like beautiful way as well relationships are flourishing it looks like there's someone here who um, has deep emotion for you okay you're really awakening something and this can be again with a, a partner a parent anyone but there's some king of cups type energy here seek out information that will help you yeah now is the time to like branch out and you're becoming very aware of this and in tune to this so if your mind's been like should i no 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 absolutely seek out that information don't be afraid uh to network learn ask questions and invest yourself because it's going to feel like one vine or branch just pushing through right now but it's going to expand into uh things you wouldn't even really imagine that was your reading, Gemini. If you would like a more accurate personal reading with me, uh, info is down below. Bye.
this month's reading it's so funny how astrology just doesn't lie venus and jupiter venus conjunct jupiter and pisces we all knew it was going to be like this lovey time but on top of you that on top of that for you leo um you're feeling really appreciated mercury is going to move into your seventh house and it's like oh suddenly you want to talk to me suddenly you want to ask me out um a lot of messages coming in at this time and opportunities for new love building upon a love that exists so on so forth um yeah a lot of um, like there's emotional blessings coming for you this month it's only gonna last though if it's like serious okay um due to some of the transits you have if it's a serious offer like you don't really <laughs> you don't really have time you don't have time for games um you are very close you're being tested a little bit uh saturn is in your seventh house so that you feel that energy a lot of saturn's like put your back into it and you're like okay fine 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 it's going to pay off though put your back into it it's going to pay off again you're gonna have en enough good times with friends family lovers um feeling in this kind of enlightened love space enough not as much as some other signs but enough to kind of carry you through uh this is a month where you really need to just um it's so funny be easy on yourself as in be kind to yourself because when you're kind to yourself um you're very unstoppable and you're very powerful and you get what you need to get done done and yeah that's that's uh let's pull more cards for leo crazy the fire signs are getting a lot of uh opportunities to meet new people aries had this too meet oh jeez, meeting new people <laughs> this firecracker card wants to show up exciting month uh spring is here uh, mars is left taurus which was i'm sorry i love the planet all of the signs but just icky and um it's a vibe it's a vibe and i lost my train of thought yeah uh one more card leo good time to meet people uh you could be like meeting like higher ups at work noticing the higher ups are more present in the workplace um relaxation it's important for you like i said to be kind to yourself um when you give yourself when your rest is actually restful it just kind of maximizes your productivity your ability to manifest because again manifesting doesn't always have to mean more is more you know sometimes less is more so having that balance but there is an energy of persist and and push through not like completely like uh, like lounge about does that make sense but i do i'm hearing you need to chill out spirit is saying you need to chill out a little bit um you might get some opportunities actually this month to finally take a little mini vacay energy uh, if you would like to book a more accurate personal reading with me, my info will be down below. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello, Virgo. Big message uh, coming up for you is what you will reap is what you will... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What you sow is what you will reap. Especially because right now you're going to have kind of uh, like planet, planetary wise, you, you, you have the focus you need towards uh, work and like you know gaining new ideas and expanding upon this newfound focus um because now you're actually able to like get the resources to learn and expand that you didn't have for like six months where it felt like frustrating uh, where it's like when you try to expand or when you even when you went towards religion or your, your spirituality it could have just felt like you were being tested okay so what's going on for virgo illumination so new perspective 
right you're, you're getting a whole new perspective you're like okay i was seeing it in my own kind of stubborn way and now there's an energy that's alleviating that and you're able to balance things a lot better okay you're able to juggle things um it's like we're we're hitting a spring and and suddenly there's this ability to really um delegate and understand what is worth your time and what isn't worth your time okay you are going to be juggling and you're going to be busy but one thing about virgos <laughs> they like to be busy so what's going on for virgo um not to mention that venus jupiter conjunction in the seventh house of your relationships you could feel really connected to something that feels greater than you right this can be a blossoming um a being treated more balanced and beautifully and vice versa being able to like give that treatment too someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change mule sometimes you carry a lot on your back um mid-month sun is going to kind of disturb the harmony <laughs> you could say that exists as it enters your seventh house right because sun has to do with the ego so it can feel like people around you are being stubborn and just really um triggering you okay so best thing to do during that time is instead of like things are going to expand for you they are you're going to be able to learn and grow from this um you're learning and growing from your past mistakes and um you know figuring out how to move forward like okay i figured this figured out this was a mistake now i understand how i can move forward with this um yeah the two of pentacles here what's coming up as something is um when you figure out the most important thing because you do have a tendency to take a lot on and your mind is going to be quite rapid um you can really figure out where not to overgive or um expend so much of your energy okay and yeah that was your reading virgo for more accurate personal readings my info will be down below thank you for watching bye hello libra your reading your energy is so unique from everyone else's due to the south node Gethu being in your sign i even feel like i need to talk slow this hair jesus i even <laughs> feel like i need to talk slower because no one really understands the experience oh my god no one understands the experience you're going through except you i feel so tapped into your energy right now it's weird um well everyone is running towards something you're kind of watching them all run and you're like i want to run but i can't <laughs> i can't manage to do it south node can uh kind of uh detach us but we don't want to fall into um being so removed even if we try and justify it so removed that we can't actually find that focus we so deeply need to do right now because now is the time where you are trying to be the universe is trying to spark something okay venus is going to be transiting your seventh house of relationships um mercury is in your fifth house it's you've got firehouses activated here which kind of means there's an opportunity here to creatively expand this also means to uh move your body um i'm hearing feeling a bit lethargic that's coming up but you're not realizing a lot of this lethargic energy is actually coming because you're looking at the past oh i was like that before and now i'm like this oh i looked like that and now i look like this oh i'm this didn't go so what do you think the best people um are always up here the best people constantly make comebacks okay and that's what march can be for you if you can um choose a door these uh you've manifested yourself to the space where you have these choices but it's about making those choices 
there's something in you that thinks now isn't the time but you're not right you're, you're wrong about that and it may not be your mind thinking it it could be your body feeling it this is where um spiritually you know you you are a very mental not mental <laughs> intellectual mental person right but sometimes you just need to get into your body okay meditate pray move your body cry especially if you're like meditating and praying and you cry wonderful you're clearing out uh, energy that needs to be cleared out um do what you need to do to get your focus back libra and i know you know certain things that can help you with this so you can really remember who you are and i know sometimes you can feel detached and removed from it but it's contradictory to your nature because you are a materialistic sign uh the south node is doing that to you and if you can just take the spiritual lessons that it's trying to teach you to not attach your worth to these things then suddenly the focus will come easily you're in a daydreamy state you're you're fired up you could be feeling fired up or inspired in love there could be a passionate um possibility but it feels like you're trying to get closure from the past you can give yourself that closure okay it, some of you are trying to revive something from the past as well okay something is trying to be something incomplete is trying to be completed but it almost feels like a fever dream it's just <laughs> for some it feels like it's not going somewhere or maybe it can only be a fantasy this is a great month to decide okay what do i want to keep a fantasy and whatnot again the ace of wands is an opportunity so it says new job career um this is showing opportunities to level up i am seeing options and doors coming towards you but you really have to get this narrative out of the past and oh this is who i am is it like ugh, there's this energy of not thinking you're enough the self world can really humble us and give us experiences that humble us um but you are you are enough okay you could be thinking about a new job career and again i'm seeing opportunities coming here there is opportunity for money to come in as well i said uh, this is a really good time to just go for it take this blessing take this um inspiration the universe has given you because we don't always get these type of energies so you're doing enough i'm hearing you're doing enough you are enough everything about you is perfect enough just focus down a little bit and it will do you a world of like so it'll just do you a lot of wonders and i think you're avoiding focusing you're almost avoiding because it's like there's too many choices there's too many options like how do i pick you, you pick you you hone down on it you are you are there's a romantic energy to this month for you with venus in your seventh house so that was your reading, Libra. Thank you for watching. If you would like to book a more accurate personal reading, my info will be down below. Scorpio, Bye. welcome to your reading. You are about to feel a huge release when it comes to uh, tension. The tension for the past six months in your relationships and frustrations. We have the Two of Pentacles. Busy month, juggling, figuring out, okay, just don't get so busy that you go on autopilot. That's a message that's coming up right away. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> what is going on? Ten of Wands in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Um, feeling a little bit emotionally unbalanced. Feel, uh, you're overthinking things on like how how do i take care of all of this for someone so intuitive sometimes you get so you can get paranoid scorpio courage be brave you've got this i looked more into your transits and you do have saturn in the fourth house um mars is going to be in the eighth house this can make you feel like more prone to like emotional attacks spiritual attacks so i'm hearing there's some people who are just petty it's not a reflection of you it is a reflection of them um 
when we have emotional bullies in our life again it can be hard but you you have this tendency to sometimes really take on pain take it on deeply and you feel it intensely and what you feel you feel intensely so again keeping yourself organized this month and balanced and you know don't go into like just as much as you can organize yourself it's going to it's, it's going to help and mars and eighth on top of that can make you not feel like the best health wise um those of you who scorpios like go to one extreme or the other either they're really indulging or they like don't um do not in over indulge and drink alcohol otherwise like stuff otherwise to cope i think there's going to be opportunities and temptation not that that's a huge message i'm getting for this month but you're like just to chill out let me do it just try not to do it try to do it less and you'll you'll actually see um improvement with your mental health scorpio happiness and well-being not all is doom and gloom okay spring is here stop it's not your you can say no you don't have to over sometimes you put on this mask um to not hurt others you can say no you don't have to take on even if people are making snide comments you don't have to take it on you know you can be firmer and stand stronger and and set your boundaries and if you need help you can ask for help especially at the workplace i'm hearing okay ask for help when you have a question to ask you don't always have to be perfect um family matters can feel like a bit burdened and taking on family stress don't take on other people's stress and problems it's not your issue it's not your problem and um what else am i hearing yeah this is a month this month it feels like it's really trying to teach you how to you've been taking you you on you subconsciously don't even realize how you take on <laughs> other people's issues libra of relationships in your 12th house and the south node is is there on top of that so you got this scorpio there is um things are lightening up the sun is here i'm hearing a, a feeling of betterness and wholeness but these are just some deep-seated habits or a uh, feeling of didn't even realize how perfect you try and be for others or how much you try and do how much you overcompensate you don't have to you're a boss act like it okay <laughs> you know have you noticed people who do the most aren't always the ones who are recognized the most who are treated the best sometimes it can even be the opposite so that was your reading um for more accurate personal it actually is a nice reading i feel like the sound card came out to be like yeah things are good but this is just some underlying stuff going on uh personal reading info is down below bye hello sagittarius welcome to your reading so i do feel you will be challenged a little bit in terms of relationships this uh, month because mars is going to be moving into your seventh house um however you will be able to save money better with mars leaving your sixth house and this is like kind of a good time to do it what's going on for sagittarius or invest your money more wisely we have the five of wands venus is going to be entering your fifth house with the north node there i'm hearing for some of you it's like having tension with someone but being attracted to them you know oh my god the sagittarius card pops out only sign to get this card temperance you have a way about you you have a way about you to pull yourself in so you can kind of handle it all you have that you have certain wisdom that you carry and you can use that to overcome this kind of petty stuff you're letting get to you even these little petty habits that you're not realizing you're like or you might be checking up on certain things that just aggravate you so it's like don't don't indulge in what's like don't look at things to aggravate you i know you like to challenge yourself for no reason sometimes but you know ace of cups the magician and the ten of cups a lot of you it's like again mars can create like 
friction and tension, but also like, you know, tension in terms of like being attracted to someone and vice versa. Um, you could feel a really strong magnetic pull towards someone right now. I'm seeing an overpouring of emotions. On top of that, Venus is conjunct Jupiter and Pisces. This happens only once every 12 years. So it like creates almost this like transcendent type of emotion and, and feeling towards someone. And you could really have um, emotions romantically you didn't even think that could happen or you could feel things that you were not expecting to feel and feel that deeply you can manifest right now new relationships um, or just meeting new people romantically can definitely come up situations in the balance that require careful handling it feels like again the pull towards certain people um, can be so strong but it's like you've just started to stabilize yourself and you're still kind of figuring it out especially money wise so it's really important um that you it's like you're able to ground yourself enough to overcome competition and and like stuff of that nature but still it's really important that you um don't overdo it don't uh another sign i'm getting message for not overindulging and just you know throwing your cares into the wind type of thing not that you're necessarily doing so but it's like these little triggers can just pull you out of your energy and moments where you really are thriving and like present um with where you are and you can manifest a lot this month I think there's a little bit of a fear to go out of your comfort zone but there doesn't need to be because you can manifest a lot you can create you're meant to be creating during this time especially in terms of love it feels like a lot of people want to come towards you it feels like um you're starting to see lot this is a big month for you in terms of love this is so interesting because mars is in your seventh house but venus is going to be entering you know your fifth house um <laughs> so it feels like this almost like puppy love type of emotion is being erupted within you and yeah that's what i'm i think that's what i'm getting so that was your reading uh Sagittarius I'm hearing don't get swept away you're pretty good at this you're pretty good at like protecting your energy but don't get swept away in these emotions that you lose sight of these long-term this long-term vision you've been trying to create right it's really important your stability is very very important at this time and to focus on that is important so if you would like to book a more accurate personal reading my info will be down below thank you for watching bye hey Capricorn welcome to your reading okay so first card up six of swords moving on peace after the storm um mars was in your fifth house so you can start to feel like things can lighten up a little bit for you you can um you know where there was tension especially maybe in matters of love or being able to express yourself you can start to find more peace in that you could have felt really angry for a long time really really angry um about where was my happy ending you, again closure i'm hearing closure what's going on for capricorn we have the ten of pentacles money looks good period um mars is going to be entering your sixth house you're going to be able to overcome enemies, debts, uh, obstacles, you know, really going to be supported in that way. I said what I said. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, opportunities coming, opportunities to make money, opportunities to balance yourself uh, to the point where you're actually enjoying the money you're making, you're able to maximize its potential queen of cups your heart is opening up i love when capricorns are like this 
your, your heart is opening up, connecting to people, connecting to your loved ones especially, especially family, um, loved ones in general. Everyone's hearts are so open with Venus conjunct Jupiter. It's like, I'm in love. I'm in love um, with the readings today. And yeah, it's like just spiritually, spiritually being expanded. You're in a very nurturing vibe. You're in a very nurturing energy. Uh, focus. Um, I know the past energy can be lingering um, of what's happened, but focus will just be important. Because again, there's a lot of, it feels like opportunity and, and a lot available to you for your growth here. So the more you focus, the more you're just gonna be like, I loved March, March was so cool. So a lot of cards. You will receive a gift. This is too many cards. I'm gonna do that again. I'm hearing March is a gift for you. March. More free time, more, more leisure time. Discord among friends or family. Interesting. Okay, this kind of is making sense. You're feeling you're more readily to give. You're noticing there's like drama around you and you're like, why is this drama? You're feeling emotionally sensitive to the energies around you when it comes to the people around you in, uh, in March. And you're like, I'm over it. I want closure and, and peace from this. Um, at times it can feel like there's even like petty high school drama around you or at, like at the workplace or something, but especially with the people maybe close to you. Um, you may sometimes bury yourself in your work to kind of like avoid these feelings is, is what I'm getting Capricorn. What else? I feel like that's what I'm getting for you guys. Um, when you're feeling kind of sensitive to this stuff or triggered, uh, not that you aren't an opportunist already, but like really look at the, the blessings being given to you right now, uh, the opportunities out there for you, because there's a lot of opportunities out for you that you may not even realize, but they're trying to come in is what I'm really seeing. Okay, uh, if you'd like to, it looks like a good month though in terms of career. Um, more in-depth personal readings will be down below. Thank you for watching. Bye. Aquarius, you can feel like a lot's going on, especially the first half of the month with it being Aquarius season. So what's going on for Aquarius? Seven of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Okay. Sun is a malefic. And it, again, first half of the month especially, it's right there, right on top of you. And you're like, how can I even forget? Saturn, everything, it's like everything's there and all the pressure can feel like it's on you. And you feel like you're crumbling. But I think it's because you're being too hard on yourself. Um, instead of looking at the past or looking at the current obstacles, can you take it one step at a time? That's all, just one step at a time. Um, I'm hearing, feeling like, why are people getting the opportunities I deserve? Aquarius. Justice. You still, even though it feels like things are happening to you, sometimes things come from within us. You know, the thing about astrology is it's like it's certain karmas being paid off at certain times. However, we can lighten those karmas. Um, we can work with them. So what what you reap, why do I always say what you reap? It's what you sow. What you sow, you will reap. Uh, you never have to worry about any mistreatment from anyone or any unfairness because what goes around comes back around, you know. Um, I'm hearing right now it's just important to put your energy towards you. What is this? Saturn can cause insecurity when it's in our sign. It does. It can challenge us, but I'm hearing it doesn't need to be there. Some of you are just burnt out a little bit, maybe. Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? 
Um, Mars is going to be transiting your fifth house. So it can feel like sometimes your expression or like is being pushed down, is being suppressed by an unform like unseen force or like literally the people around you when you're just trying to have fun and a good time and it's like, ah, I feel like there I have feeling like there's so much you need to protect or defend. Position of authority and exciting event throne. Saturn is rewarding you with all the effort you're putting in and it's going to continue. Um, some of you aren't realizing that there is a position of authority that's like waiting for you, a level up that is going to come. But I'm also really hearing with throne, you have this, you have this voice. It's almost like you're doubting, you're doubting yourself. It's like you're here, you've made it, but you're doubting where you've, where you've come when you deserve this and like, and more is what I'm hearing. What's going on for Aquarius? There can be delays right now, delays in certain plans it feels like. Scorpio had this, courage. I think you and, you and Scorpio have a lot in common. Oh wait, this is Aquarius. Sure, you and Scorpio. I thought it was Capricorn for a second, but um, you are Saturn. You are ruled by Saturn and, and Scorpio, especially moons. I was thinking about the debilitated energy there. Have courage. Be brave to go after what you want and brave enough to ask. And more than that, brave enough to envision it and trust in it. I'm hearing be brave enough to believe things are going to get better. You can be like a realist at times, you know? Um... Yeah, right now just bravery to kind of set out to do what you said you were going to do is greatly going to pay off. And again, if the bravery to not, you know, overburden yourself as well, to be like, write, write down what, what you see happening for you and trust that it's going to happen. And also just figure out, again, I keep hearing figure out just what is the next step I need to do. I was looking over your transits and like another thing I was picking up, it's almost like Mercury is coming in and it's giving you, It's I feel like it's making you overthink a bit. It's like over stimulating you and you're a bit overwhelmed and you're like, I'm tired. So this does mean like maybe you need to figure out where, like what is your plan? Do you know what I mean? I almost feel like you're scared to look. You know, sometimes when we're so overwhelmed, we're just too scared to look and like plan and trust, like trusting in your plan. It's like you're not trusting yourself. You're you're not seeing yourself as you are. That is coming up. Um, you are valuable. You are a valuable asset. Remember that. So that was your reading Aquarius. For more in-depth personal readings, info will be down below. Thank you for watching. Last guys. but not least, Pisces. There's such an expansive energy about Pisces already. And then you have Jupiter there. You have Venus there in the first half of the month. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Oh, I don't know if this came out. It came out reversed. I think it came out reversed. I'm gonna keep it reversed. Okay, page of cups reversed. A little bit of doubt towards maybe things in love, matters in love. Pisces. Two of wands. There's energy there to help you overcome that. What's going on for Pisces? Temperance. You're learning a lot of spiritual lessons at this time. Jupiter and Venus there are trying to teach you a lot in terms of you're feeling super like creative and you're like whoa how do I how do I manage this how do I integrate this into my future I want to integrate this I'm I could be good at this I um I want more of this in my life right and it's great to dream and spirit is saying like keep dreaming uh temperance is showing here though you're figuring out okay I can do this patiently. I can do this at my own pace. And that doesn't mean a lazy pace. Like that, the pace where you know you're like not overdoing it, but not um, 
underestimating yourself. Yeah, like like I said, <laughs> whoop, low battery, let me get rid of that. Slowly but surely getting ahead, as you should. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Uh, Mercury will be in your 12th house and you're just like, um, yeah, is that right? Mercury will, oh, it's going to move into your sign actually, mid-month. But it is in your 12th house and at times you're like, whoa, don't talk to me, don't, I already have so much going on here, I'm trying to figure it out, um, type of energy. Mars is going to be moving into your fourth house, <laughs> the home, right? So again, needing a break, needing some, uh, you know, what is fourth house? Comforts. So we can be test. things can feel a bit uncomfortable. I feel like that's making you crave comfort and leisure time even more. Um, some of you are going to be making travel plans or like you, you really, you have this itch to travel this month. Let's pull one more card for Pisces. Pisces, <gasps> Venus conjunct Jupiter in your sign, love. Love is blossoming, why are you doubting it? Why are you doubting your the, how worthy you are of this love and how you're finding things you really love to do and why are you feeling guilt for enjoying yourself? I'm hearing that. Um, but a there's just a lot of main message shaping, you're, you're feeling a lot of love around you. Um, that maybe you didn't in the past, but you are, you are now. So that was your reading, Pisces. For more accurate personal readings, my information will be down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.